Hi, it's me again with Krill Roll Tips and Tricks, and this is how to use the envelope tool. I actually did a fish the other day, and the gentleman I'm trying to help, uh, I, I forgot to send him the video, so he thought I hadn't done anything, and his fish is a little bit different, so I thought I'd make a second video. You can't envelope this shape. It's just not going to work. It's not going to. It's not going to be worth it. So here's what I would do on this, and this is a pretty good rendition. Uh, I don't know if you're going to cut it out. I would maybe, you know, change that spike a little bit on the gill. But just take your three-point curve line, because we want to utilize as much of the fish as we can. So we're going to go from like right there, and we're going to put a little bit of a curve to it. Then we're going to seal in these parts put a little bit of curve in it, doesn't really have to. We're making a, a seal, uh, an area that won't leak, that'll kind of give the shape, still the shape of the fish. You know, you don't want to get into this mouth part. So now you've kind of got it, and you can play with that and use your ability. I've got my nudge factor set on eight inches. I'm going to take my smart fill tool and I'm going to fill that in. Now at this time, I can take my lines away and you could you could do two things. You could move that out of the way and then hit delete and then move this back. I am gonna left click, right click, and to make it just a little bit better because you don't want it right on the line. And there's a little bit of a jagged part right there that you could maybe you know clean up a little bit with a smoothing tool before you do this. You know, you could take out a note or two that we got um, you know, up in there, maybe too tight. Just give it a little bit more of a curve to it. Don't worry about, you know, these. we want some contour to the fish. But then what I would do is I would take that item and go to effects and contour. We're gonna contour to the inside like 0.12. Maybe that's too much. Let's go 0 0.09. We want just a little bit of a contour. Now go up to effect or go up to object and break the contour apart. We can move this now out of the way and this is our smaller one. Then just grab your word and this text will work. Uh, you need a pretty good thick font. Go up to effects, envelope, and then when this word is selected, go right here to create an envelope form. It'll be a little arrow and put it right there that doesn't look too bad then select that hold down your shift key select that in that order and then hit ec and what that did it put it back in that item now we can move that delete that and just nudge it back over that looks pretty cool you don't you know if you did it without that let me just show you what it would look like if you use this right here, and it might not even allow me to do it. See, it's it's because it's got uh, probably some broken nodes like right there. So let's do this. Let's see, just see what it would look like if we take the Smart Fill tool and fill. See, it's got some leaks. I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing this. Uh, I'm gonna select it all, maybe go to Object, break the curve apart, grab the Shape tool, grab all these nodes, Go up to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves, and now it filled it in. Now we can nudge that out of the way, and I can left click, right click. Well, I'm going to leave it red. <clears throat> and now the envelope tool should work. But see, that just doesn't work. I mean, the, the letter, unless that's what you're after, that's just not going to work. Let's see what it looks like in the fish. Hold down the shift key and then EC. I think mine looks a lot better, more readable. Um, anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. And thank you for watching. I was trying to get back to the original, what the word looked like in my fish, but I must have skipped a part. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.